have a look at um, half guard, which is super important because um, especially inside mixed martial arts, you'll find a lot of people want to sit here uh, just to cause you damage from the bottom. So you need a fairly aggressive escape game. And sometimes a lot of that is comes around uh, freeing this head because they want to smash this head and start to work elbows and all sorts of um, nasty things from there. Okay, so we're going to just work on freeing his head first. So often I can just unbalance him a little bit with my with my hips. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to work on balancing him with the hips so I can win back my underhook and free this head. So I'm going to connect my shoulder to his head and I'm also going to connect my hands to his hips to kind of help stop him from uh, putting all his weight down on his hips here and squishing me out. So just maybe just a little bit lower here. If I'm here, I can wrist lock myself a little bit. So just here, okay? And I'm gonna carry him one way and I'm gonna carry him back the other way so I get him to post so I can free my head here. I'm gonna come around and now I'm just gonna frame here on the uh, shoulder, okay? I wanna stop this hand from recollecting my head. Once I've done that, I've created enough room to take this leg from the outside and pull it in. If he's sprawled out here and you're struggling, there's just a little bump and you can push this knee inside here, okay? I'm now gonna use this to sit up and connect my knee to my elbow, okay? It's very hard for Jack now to flatten me out, okay? When he tries to flatten me out, I have all these frames on the inside, okay? So it's very difficult. So now I'm gonna follow this up and I'm going to underhook. So instead of underhooking on the body, we're going to underhook on the leg. I'm going to connect my knee to my forearm and I'm going to start to push Jack forward. He's going to base out. We normally end up in this position. Okay. But in real time, it's going to look a little bit like this. I'm going to come around, bump. Then I'm going to go here, bump. Okay, and follow, bump. Okay, once I've bumped here, it's very easy. I've got a couple of options. I can either hook the leg here and single leg, or I can tap this leg here, and double leg. Both those options work really well. So it's not like a little single double attack, similar to the one we used a couple of weeks ago in the sit-up guard. Okay, smash down. Remember, I'm balancing him. I'm getting him to post is a good way to get him to let go. If he's locked, locked his hands together and he's certain that he wants to smash you, it's gonna be a little bit more of a fight. So connect, and when he holds tight, off he goes. Build your frames. Shoulder, knee shield, sit up. Okay, now this elbow is up. I have to watch him though. Sometimes he comes behind. And he uses that to try and flatten me out. So don't stay here for too long. Well, to the leg. Now when he tries to flatten me out and comes forward, it's even easier to reach. So my two options now are lock this leg, okay? When I lock his bottom calf here, now I can drive over like a knee bar single leg, okay? Or if he pulls that foot out then, takes it away, hit the double leg, okay? It's a really successful escape pattern. Uh, great for uh, mixed martial arts, jiu-jitsu. Um, it works really well, okay? Thanks.